All right, guys, it's Unders. So today, having a little look in Machine. I know something we don't do very often. However, recently Machine added a new feature or a little twist on their sampler engine. We've now got the ability to real-time time stretch and play around with loops, something that might help out with getting vocals into Machine, which has always been a real killer about using it as a workflow machine from start to finish. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do this. So if we go onto machine and we hit browse and let's grab a relevant sample table. Let's go user and see what we've got in here. That will do fine. Let's load that up. So we've now got this sound on this pad right here. That's how it's always been. We load the sample onto a pad and then we can chop it and cut it around from there. However, this new addition called audio allows us to do some real time stuff in patterns. So we've got that sample on there. If you hit shift and browse, we get our menu up here. Now we're on sampler at the minute. If we bump it up to the second one down, which is audio and we hit load, We'll see on machine here, we get a change. I put it on pattern four, so we've got a bit of space in the middle there. And it's got a representation of the audio. All well and good, what does this mean? When we hit play, it's gonna play that piece of audio in time. Yeah, now you can see it's found the source time as 85 BPM, but we're playing back in 120. If I was to change the BPM on the fly, it would adjust to it. Cool, and it's doing that in real time as we're playing it back. Now if we grab a pattern, and obviously we, this is gonna be on pattern one, let's make it so it's four bars long, and we've got more of the loop playing now. Cool. Now, if we're to play that back here, we can adjust it on the fly. It's always going to match the tempo, but we can equally adjust how long it is. So we've made it right here so that it's covering four bars when it's actually probably about 16 by the looks of it, maybe only eight. Um, but it's always going to loop that section in those four bars. However, if we go back out of pattern mode here, We've got how the loop is working. We've got its tempo, we've got its length actually at 32. We can halve that down to 16. And that's gonna play a different piece of audio within that pattern. And then we can manipulate the tempo again on the fly. We could bring that back up into 95. So we've moved up by 10 BPM. We've doubled it in time. We've done that all on the fly. We can do it as we like. We can go stupid slow. We can go the other way and crank it right up. It plays back pretty well either way, no matter what you're doing with it. It's uh, it's keeping a pretty good sound. Now that's not the only real useful thing about this. You can switch the mode. So when you've got your audio open, you can use the first knob here and you can swap it from loop to gate. And gate's useful, you can tap it and it'll let the note come through in the movement of a normal gate. That's what a gate does, right? We open it up and then it closes to get rid of the sound. Where this really comes into shine is in pad mode though. So if you put it in keyboard mode, we can then look at actually playing as well. And if we adjust this to say a set key, for example, uh, we'll just be on C major here. It's gonna re-pitch bits of those sounds. And we can get all kinds of new things going on there. And if we're using a shorter sample for that, that's gonna work really well for us. So let's drop back out of pad mode. And we're gonna put it back in loop. We're gonna make it really long, so we've just got a small part of the sound here. So we'll put it back on 32. And we're just gonna bring the pad 
pattern right back down to one. So we've just got this tiny little loop happening here now. So if we now use pad mode, Perhaps let's adjust it so that it just has this first note here, and we can just keep adjusting that first note. And within certain parameters, it works pretty nicely. we can get new melodies out of it that way. It's a really useful thing, especially when you're going into keyboard and using gate mode with it as well. Um, it's not quite a solution to the whole getting vocals in issue that we've had in the past, but it's a nice addition to be able to have and play around with and create new melodies out of. So I just thought I would share those ideas with you guys and I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you on the next video.